Hi, this is Max from the Stock Arcade. I hope you are all doing great. Uh, in this video, I will talk about Order Lakes symbol ARDX. The company has a PDUFA decision coming up in about four weeks, um, on July 29th to be exact. And I will go through my one pager, have a look at the chart and what my plans are with the stock and hopefully get some of your views and what your plans are with the stock going into the PDUFA. But before I do that, I just want to have a um, quick look or a quick update on ITRM, Ethereum Therapeutics. The company had some rather bad news um, yesterday to share, in fact, um, in a press release, the company informed that uh, uh, they received a letter from the FDA um, stating that um, as part of that ongoing review um, of the company's NDA, the agency has identified deficiencies that preclude the continuation of the discussion of labeling and post-marketing requirements commitments at this time. No details with respect to the deficiencies were disclosed by the FDA uh, in this notification and uh, the letter further states that uh, um, this letter does not reflect a final decision on the information on the review. So that means uh, well, first of all, it means that the PDUFA goal date of July 25th is still valid. Uh, the FDA didn't issue a complete response letter or a CRL, nor did it extend the PDUFA review yet. Um, however, um, I sold my remaining position in the stock, as I mentioned on Twitter. I took profits uh, at my first target of $2 and then kept 25% uh, of my position. But uh, following this news, I decided to sell my remaining position as even with the big drop in share price, I was still up from my average cost of 116. Um, and by the way, I even completely missed the, the, the bear rates um, of last week where uh, I could have had a chance to, to, to load up, uh, increase my position. Um, actually, my preferred scenario was, was uh, um, with the cup and handle forming, was actually playing out quite well until yesterday, that is. And that obviously changed or may change everything. But a, a profit is a profit. And always remember, even if that is a specific PDUFA decision date, between the acceptance of the NDA um, or, or BLA or supplemental, a supplemental NDA, whatever it is, and the PDUFA goal date, anything can happen. So do never shy away to take profits because this is the opportunity a run-up can give you. Now here it isn't really clear what uh, the deficiencies are. It could be anything. And the second, I really do not like the uh, the wording or some of the wording of this press release with uh, disappointed and uh, we continue to believe. Um, it sounds like the company expects uh, further negative news to follow. It may be a CRL, it may be an extension of the PDUFA review, or it even may be that nothing changed at all and the PDUFA stays as is. I don't know, but Due to these uncertainties, I decided to liquidate my position. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. I'm really interested to know what you think will be the scenario that will unfold in this regard. Okay, but now let's move on to ARDX, a uh, company with a market cap of around 785 million. Um, the original PUFA goal date was April 29th, which uh, then was extended to July 29th for a um, NDA of uh, 
Tepanor, um, liquidity as of March 31st, 178 million. The company believes the current available cash will be sufficient to fund plant expenditures and meet obligations for at least 12 months. Um, worth noting here, they have a um, so-called open market sales agreement worth up to 250 million filed in July 2020. And uh, this is um, a sales agreement where they basically can sell stock um, in the market whenever they, they, they feel like doing so. Um, and uh, during the life of this uh, agreement and as of March 31st, they have sold 8.2 million shares of common stock for gross proceeds of 56.7 million at a uh, average price of $6.91 per share. A lots, a lots of stock left to sell in the market. That is obviously not good because it means ongoing dilution for uh, shareholders. Uh, earnings report, they reported their uh, first quarter um, numbers on May 6th. Um, analyst rating and consensus uh, 12 months price targets. Um, ARDX has a price target of 15 uh, based on two analysts uh, sources tip ranks as of July 2nd um, and both I mean it's not it's not very followed stock uh, it seems but um, the lowest uh, target is $14 and the uh, higher is 16 so um, still around uh, 90 percent uh, um, potential uh, on on the upside here um, short float 11.27 percent source is finwis i mean definitely some uh, short squeeze potential there okay now so let's uh, have a look at the chart this is the um, weekly view the um, stock is uh, consolidating quite nicely within this uh, asymmetrical triangle since uh, March. Um, uh, we are seeing higher lows um, since even since uh, October last year. Um, and just before the um, PDFA extension news here back in April, uh, the, so, uh, the stock seemed to have uh, finally made its uh, move and broke out above that uh, 8, 8, 10 ish level, which uh, um, was quite a uh, resistance level there. But then the news hit and the stock fell straight back below um, this level, um, but still managed to keep its upward uh, movement um, here. So looking at this on a daily time frame, um, it looks like this. The stock remains in this um, upward movement um, and this upward movement has been uh, accelerating in the last uh, two weeks. Um, it is above the 20, 50 and the 200 um, uh, exponential moving average uh, and now we are basically back where we were battling around this 80-ish um, level. Uh, my guess is that many are still trapped here as they um, probably bought on the way up uh, in, in April. Um, where we saw a peak around nine, nine-ish. Now uh, many have uh, may, many may take advantage of uh, any spike in the share price to take the opportunity to to sell to probably at least break even. And uh, second, uh, we should not discount the the, the, the uh, open market uh, stock sale agreement, which I mentioned before. The company is, um, can sell stock at any time and they will probably do so at any opportunity where the price has a large uh, upward uh, spike. 
So my plan here is, uh, I plan to initiate a position the latest by end of uh, next week for the uh, swing trade um, of a couple of weeks, not planning to hold this uh, through PDUFA uh, unless uh, I make 100% and can sell my initial investment, then I can just go with the uh, house money into the PDUFA decision. For my initial position, I um, I will actually use here the Fibonacci retracement levels here placing a, a um, uh, here at the low um, and I will place a buy order here at this important um, FIP level um, at the 38.2% uh, uh, and I will place a buy order around 779 if this one gets failed, I will look from there. I'd like to see it break on the upside of the triangle and uh, then retest. Uh, then I may gradually increase my position from there. So basically a scenario um, where it will look like this, basically um, down here by up break above this uh, triangle on the upside retest buy again and then hopefully we'll see a uh, nice breakout on the uh, on the upside um, so that is uh, my plan for this uh, stock um, so okay guys uh, this video is getting a bit too long and i don't want to steal too much of your time Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please support the channel by subscribing and uh, hit or uh, as many say smash uh, that like button. Don't forget to activate the notification bell too. Uh, so you receive notifications as soon as I upload a new video. And uh, by the way, I plan to upload the, the August PDUFA Catalyst video either later today or tomorrow. Um, I also post regular updates um, as time permits on Twitter. My handle is at StockerCade. But uh, as usual, remember my opinions are just my opinions. This uh, and all videos I have posted uh, and will be posting are for entertainment purposes only and no investment advice. Thanks a ton for watching. Have a great Sunday and see you next time.